Hello folks, my name is Mark and this is Why I Hate the World. How's everybody doing? So let's jump right into it. This video is a response to a guy named Shane DK who made a video response to one of my videos which was called uh, People Who Piss Me Off Libertarians, right? And before we go a little, a little further, a little background is needed here. Um, that video is kind of like my most popular video, <laughs> you know, like I, um, I only have a couple hundred subscribers and each video I get only makes, you know, two, three hundred views maybe, right? And that one has like, you know, over nine thousand views. I mean, it's got a shitload, right? So, um, and if you look at the comment section, section, it's essentially people, you know, it's, it's essentially libertarians telling me to fuck off is, is what the comment section is, which is like, whatever. Some people come on there and defend, you know, they, and there's debates and shit going on, but whatever, you know, most of it is like, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about, he's a fag, you know, whatever, you know, I got no problem with that. So, um, now the thing is, I do get a lot of crap for that video, though, because at the beginning, I say a couple things, um, I imply that libertarians are, you know, pro-drug uh, war, you know, pro-war and pro-law enforcement and shit like that, and airport scanners and that kind of thing, and a lot of people get mad at me for that, saying, you know, we're against that, you know, libertarians. And the thing is, is that um, there is within, you know, like any political party, there is a spectrum that is within the libertarian party, like, you know, there's left-wing and right-wing libertarians, and that video is geared more towards the right-wing libertarians, you know. I mean, the fact is there is a very large segment of people who call themselves libertarians who are also very conservative. You know, they're very anti-abortion, they're anti-immigrant, you know, they want to use the military to, like, patrol the southern border and shoot, like, you know, immigrants and shit like that. You know, illegal aliens, right? Um, and pre-2008, these people were also very pro-war, you know. They were, okay? <laughs> Don't tell me they weren't because they were, because I lived through this shit, okay? These were people that, you know, back when the Republicans were in charge, were, like, all for going and blowing up the Middle East, and when, like, fucking the war started, they were nowhere to be found, and then suddenly when fucking a Democrat is in the White House, suddenly now they're all anti-war, you know? Um... I mean, it's, it's fucking, you know, it's, to say these people don't exist is just not, you know, that's not true, because they do exist, you know. And if you'll notice that in that series I made there, those four series, which I meant to continue that, you know, with other people, but those four people who piss me off videos, they kind of go through different kinds of various right-wingers, you know, conservatives, libertarians, conservative Christians, and arachno-capitalists, you know. And it's because the lines between these people blur a lot, and there's a lot of crossover, so when people come on and they say, you know, you're confusing us with, like, Tea Party people, you know, it's because in real life, there's a lot of crossover between the Tea Partiers and people who say they're Libertarians, and, you know, to say there isn't is just not, you know, it's just naive to say that there aren't, there aren't some Libertarians who are highly religious and anti-gay, pro-war, anti-abortion, pro-law enforcement, you know, to say these people doesn't, don't exist is just like naive because they do you know and does that mean that they're like you know the majority of libertarians I don't know it seemed like they were for a little while maybe they're not anymore but that'd be nice but anyhow so getting to the video at hand here you know um, anyway um, getting to the video here Shane's video right seemed more directed at my comment section rather than the actual video which is fine right And, but I do want to respond to it because it was a response to one of mine. And the first thing I want to address is that about 27 seconds in, when Shane acts like he can't remember the name of the video, you know, like it's just nonchalant, you know, like, like he's just like, oh, it's just some random video I came across, you know, which is bullshit, right? Because in real life, like, this fucking guy lived in my comment section for like, you know, a week. Like, I went through there and I counted all of the fucking comments from Shane, and I stopped at, like, 240, I mean, and there was, like, fucking six more pages of, like, this fucking guy, just, he just basically just lived on the, for, like, a week, and just fucking commented over and over and over, like, 500,000 times, that's another thing that I notice that libertarian people do a lot, you know, they'll come on a video, and they'll just post, like, a million times in a row, and then they get mad when you don't fucking read every single one of them, it's like, 
the fuck, dude? But as for this guy, it's like, Shane, dude, don't even try to fucking say that, like, you know, this is just some random fucking thing. You were fucking there for, like, a week straight, motherfucker, so don't fucking lie to me, alright? Goddamn. It's just fucking funny, but anyway. Um, anyhow, so, I'm not gonna bother to go through and critique, like, every single line of, like, Shane's video, because that would take fucking three hours, and I got shit to do. This video already is gonna be, like, way too long, <laughs> right? But, um, but I, I've kind of boiled his, his, his video down to two statements. They're essentially this. It's that the first part of it is of this video is, is deals with like um, the statement that a country run by libertarians cannot be by definition a feudalistic state right and then second half is the main message of the second half is that is this that it's not possible to move to another country if you disagree with the social contract of that country and in fact the social contract is a myth to begin with so let's take the first statement um, that's kind of a thing that that's a criticism that you'll see a lot of actually if you go back to that uh, to that video and you look at the, the comments section that's one of the things that you'll see a lot of people saying is that you know you'll all have us living in a feudalistic state right and Shane saying that's like by definition impossible well first off it's a metaphor see like see, the thing is Shane seems to misunderstand exactly what we're talking about here nobody's actually saying that a state run by libertarians would actually be a real feudalistic state with serfs that are owned by people and they can't leave the land and shit like that, okay? Not the same way that, like, you know, England and France were, all right? They're using it as a metaphor, okay? Like, in real life, you know, in, in a society, if it was, you know, a libertarian society, right, where each person is solely responsible only for themselves and they have zero obligation to look after or other people or contribute to the general welfare of their society, you know, and in this society where, like, uh, there's no concept of the public good and property rights outweigh, um, uh, property rights are considered more important than human rights in a society like that, you know, it's not a far stretch to envision that that would kind of devolve into, like, a de facto pseudo-feudalistic system, okay? where just rich people just run fucking everything and they like collude together amongst themselves to control all the resources you know with no fucking effective regulation or oversight I mean that's a criticism you know and it's kind of you know maybe it's an exaggeration but I don't think it's I don't think it's that far I don't think it's that big of an exaggeration to, to, to take you know I mean a lot of people say that, you know, the criticism is that, like, the result of libertarian policies would be that it essentially boils down to might makes right, and it would leave us all at the mercy of those who have money and power, and it's fucking true. <laughs> I mean, if you look at what they're saying, you know, property rights and shit like that, and they're more important than, you know, libertarianism is, is essentially like every rights, all your rights boil down to property rights, you know, and that's why you have guys like, um, like Rand Paul saying that it should be up to the owner to like, you know, the owner of a business should be able to kick people out based on race and shit like that, and that's why they wouldn't have voted for the Civil Rights Act and that kind of thing. It's just, it's like this ass-backwards kind of fucking, I don't know, I don't know. But anyway, um, if you think about, I mean, if you think about how a society run like that would turn out, you know, pretty soon, you know, let's let's assume that let's assume that you took all the people in the country and you divided all the land evenly between all of them, right? And they said, Libertarian society, go, bam. And people were allowed to just make any contract they wanted without any regards to like anything. You know. And uh what do you think would happen? I mean, I think it's not a far stretch to say that pretty soon, after a couple generations, you know, normal people wouldn't own any land anymore, you know, everybody would sell it off, or they'd lease it off, or they'd go into deals with one, you know, and, and people would, you know, and, and with any business deal, there's winners and there's losers, and then pretty soon the winners are just going to own everything, you know, pretty soon normal people, you and me, you know, with like, you know, middle class type people aren't going to own any land, and they're not going to have any property of worth, and they're not going to be able to start a business because the huge players that have taken over kind of squeeze everybody out of the market, you know, and that's essentially, you know, when, when you see the, cr the criticism that you're a corporate surf, that's pretty much what they're talking about, you know, like a, 
a lot of the people that criticize libertarians use this metaphor that you'd be a corporate surf. You know, it's not the fact that you're really like a surf and they really fucking own you. It's just, it's a metaphor, okay? And I don't think it's that, I don't think it's it's that bad of a metaphor. I think it's actually pretty, you know, truthful, so. Or a good comparison or whatever it is you say about metaphors. But anyway, so, so the thing is, to a libertarian, you know, libertarians don't understand that a powerful entity like a corporation, you know, to them, you're not a person, okay? You're not a person that has a life and a family and rights and all that bullshit, okay? You're a resource to a corporation, okay? Because corporations are not people, all right? They don't exist. They're, com they're companies where everything is just, you know, money. That's all it is. It's all fucking numbers and shit like that, you know? And you know, if you're not employed by them or if you're not a customer of theirs, then you just don't matter. You know, it's like they're not there to look after your best interest. They're there to make money, okay? So really they don't, you know, a corporation doesn't give a shit if you get an education or they don't care about your access to health care or healthy food or clean water, you know, or if the shit that they're dumping in the river is giving you brain cancer, right? They don't give a shit about any of that, especially if it comes, you know, if it's eating into their profit margin, okay? You know, it's like, they also don't understand that, you know, if you live in a modern society, this is another thing, so libertarians don't understand that if you live in, you know, modern society, people are, inter they're interdependent with each other, okay? Like, that's one of the, that's another thing, like, like, libertarians like to think that, like, you know, every man's an island and we're all self-sufficient and shit like that, and it's, it's a very kind of 18, you know, um, 19th century sort of individualism kind of thing like you know I can I can support myself and I don't need anybody and and by that measure I shouldn't have to support anyone else and that kind of thing the truth is is that today we're interdependent okay most people out there aren't capable of providing for themselves the basic necessity like if you were to throw somebody into the jungle and say survive most people that live in major cities today or even not even just major cities but just most people in general that live in like you know the United States wouldn't be able to do it okay most people don't know how to fucking farm <laughs> I don't know you know how to raise cattle how to you know how to raise chickens and shit like that and how to dig a well to get clean water and then how to fucking you know get rid you know to purify it I have no idea how all that shit works right you know, usually in the United States now, you don't have to grow your own food. You don't have to process your own garbage. You know, most people don't have the capacity to do these things. And even if they did, they don't really own the land in the first place. Okay, not really. Most people don't own land, you know. I mean, we're interdependent with each other. You know, like, what if you need an operation and there's no doctors around? Like, what the fuck are you going to do? You're just going to perform open-heart surgery on yourself? I mean, it's... It's bullshit. You know, the nature of modern society is interdependence. You know, we depend upon each other to keep things going, right? Even in a competitive society, we have a competitive, you know, capitalism. It's a competitive society. People are competing. Even in a society like that, it's still interdependent with each other, you know. You still have to pay people to do things that you don't know how to do, all right? And part of this interdependence is the idea that we live under what's called a social contract, but more on that in a minute. So that's the problem is that libertarians they they confuse this interdependence with tyranny. Okay, they 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 think, you know, because also the fact that, you know, you're interdependent, you depend upon a society, right? Um you have to you have to pay to maintain that society and that essentially comes down to taxes, okay? Because there's certain things that everyone in the society depend upon, you know, infrastructure um, a government, you know, police protection, fire protection, uh, essential infrastructure, you know, roads, fucking uh, electricity, sewage, water, stuff like that. Sometimes these things are privately owned, sometimes they're publicly owned, sometimes it's a mix. It doesn't matter, right? Your tax dollars go towards all of these things. You know, education, right? You can't have a business if people aren't educated, okay? You can't, you know, you're gonna hire. You can't hire somebody if they can't fucking read and they don't. They don't know how to do the paperwork and work the computer, right? People can't buy your product if they're fucking stupid and they they can't get a job, right? Or you know, 
if you're buying books and people don't, don't know how to read, I mean, you need, you know, education is important. It benefits everybody the same way with police protection. Police protection benefits everybody. Fire protection benefits everybody, all right? Clean water benefits everyone, okay? You know, you can't fucking live if you don't have water. I mean, that's just sort of, that's part of living in a society, all right? A modern society is that, you know, and even, in, you know, you can't go out and if you live in an apartment building in downtown LA and drill your own fucking well, I mean, it doesn't work that way, right? You know, and um, that's the thing is that they think it's tyranny. They think the, the idea that you have to pay for the maintenance of your society is tyranny, you know, and it's, it's fucking not. I mean, the fact that it's mandated that you have to pay taxes towards the upkeep of your society, no way, you know, in no way makes you less free, okay? You're not less free because you have to pay taxes, all right? You're not less free because you have to obey laws. It's just, it just doesn't make any fucking sense to say that you are, you know? I mean, you know, that doesn't make you less free. You know, nor does the fact that we have laws concerning labor, you know, so you can't pay people fucking 50 cents a day to work for you, you know, that doesn't make you less free, or the fact that we have environmental laws, so that you can't dump your toxic shit into the water supply, that doesn't mean you're less fucking free, okay? Freedom in this country doesn't mean freedom to go around and fucking pollute and, like, hire people for two cents a day and exploit people and shit like that, right? Freedom in, in the United States means you're free to determine how you live your life, okay? what religion you believe in, what work you do, where you live, what you do for a living. You know, if you want to have children, if you don't want to have children, okay? Like, who you want to stick your penis into, shit like that. That's what freedom means, you know? If you want to leave, all right? More on that in a minute. You know, it doesn't mean that you're allowed to just fucking, you know, build anything anywhere without regard to, like, you know, local laws and shit like that. You know, it doesn't mean that you're just allowed to just pollute stuff and then, like, fucking hire somebody, you know, to do a shitty job without any regulated, you know, without any oversight and then, like, not pay taxes. I mean, I don't know. And it also, you know, freedom also doesn't mean that you're allowed to just blow somebody away the minute they step onto your fucking land, okay? You know, that's just, that's bullshit, too, all right? And, you know, it doesn't mean that if, you know, you can put up a sign that says no trespassing and then if a guy walks into your land, you can just shoot him. That's not freedom, okay? Or nor is the fact that, like, you know, blowing away all the fucking endangered red-footed falcons just because they're on your land, that's not fucking freedom either, okay? There are laws, you know, there are laws that are in the public good that even on your property you have to obey, all right? You know, and I don't think it's... You're not going to win any arguments telling me that, you know, that's tyranny. All right. Um, anyway. Oh, shit, where was I? So, you know... Basically, this is a nation, nation of laws, okay? The laws that are determined by, you know, in a democratic process, okay? And if you live in this country, these laws apply to you, whether you like it or not. And the reason for that, essentially, is the social contract, right? So this is the second part of Shane's video, where he essentially he rejects the social contract, right? And for people of you out there who have never really heard that term, it's it's basically the social contract is um, it's a system for determining the rationale behind the sovereignty of the state, essentially. All right. I mean, it used to be back. Shit, I'm out of water. Hang on a second. There's chorus. I'm gonna. Okay, we're back. So, it used to be back, that back in the olden days when we had, like, kings and queens and shit, and people didn't have a lot of rights, you know, the idea was that the underclasses, you know, the peasants and the peons and such, they would cede control to the sovereign, you know, the king or the emperor or whatever, and with the good faith that the ruling class would work in their best interest, you know. Kind of like, you know, hey, Mr. King, we're going to let you be rich and shit and live in that castle, and we're going to give you 10% of our land and, you know, and our cattle and all that shit, and in return, you're going to protect us from invasion, and you're going to help the poor people, and you're going to manage our harvest so we don't starve to death, shit like that, okay? That's essentially where this concept originates from, you know? 
and the sovereign that didn't follow that contract, you know, the people were expected to rise up and, like, you know, revolt and shit like that. Essentially. So, anyway, um, now, in a modern context, you know, because people don't like to think that we have, we live in a classes, you know, that, that we have a ruling class in the society. When we do, okay. It's pretty fucking obvious we do. Um, you know, but in, in a modern context, that's sort of like, um, this, this would, would be paying your taxes, you know, and doing other mandatory service type things, like, uh, like in Israel, you know, all, every person has to do two years of military service, like, mandated service, shit, shit like that, okay, you know, and you do these things, you pay taxes, and you do these other service type things, and, um, in return, the state gives you certain things, like, you know, access to an education, or, um, health care, you know, in most countries in the world, or, you know, public utilities and police protection and so on, right? I mean, that's kind of a very simplified explanation, but that's it, essentially. Now, um, <clears throat> now, people like Shane, however, reject this concept of the social contract because, you know, libertarians, you know, they like to bullshit themselves into thinking that everyone is independent, you know, kind of the thing that we, we were just talking about, you know, interdependence and stuff like that. And they like to think that they're pretty much the end-all, be-all of everything, and they can make the best decisions for themselves about everything ever in their lives ever, and they're experts in everything, and, you know. And this is why libertarians say shit like, you know, they're against Social Security. And they say shit like, you know, if you were to take the uh, money that you invested in Social Security and invested in private, you know, in the stock market, you'd come out ahead and... When in real life, you know, that's complete bullshit because every couple decades the fucking stock market seems to collapse, you know. It's like, remember that? Remember in, in like 2002 when the Bush people wanted to put Social Security into the stock market, you know? I mean, aren't we glad that shit didn't happen, you know? I mean, goddamn, can you imagine? There would be no Social Security now if we were to do that. I mean, seriously. But anyway, um, you know... But they, they, they say shit like that with the idea that everybody's supposed to be an expert in everything. It's like, you know, what am I, a fucking investment banker here? I don't know how to do this stuff, right? I mean, most people out there can't even, like, balance a fucking checkbook, you know? I'm supposed to, like, manage my fucking in investment portfolio, too? Like, you know? God damn. I mean, if you don't know how to do it, you know, I don't know. I mean, in real life, right, there are decisions which you should make for yourself, okay, obviously. There are other decisions that you should defer to the opinions of experts, <laughs> okay? I mean, kind of like, uh, you know, like what kind of medication should you take for that brain tumor, you know what I mean? That's, that's something that I think you should get from an expert, you know? Is it safe to build that preschool on top of a fucking toxic waste dump, all right? How do I manage my fucking retirement portfolio? That's something else, you know? That's something, you know, when Facebook went public, I read this thing about this lady who dumped her life savings into it, like, like $50,000. I mean, aren't you glad, you know, fuck, dude. I was actually going to invest about $800, and then I thought twice about it, you know, and I only ended up buying something like five shares, you know, and then I was going to put another 800 bucks into it, and I was like, eh, maybe I'll wait a few days, and then it, like, totally just dumped, you know, and it's like, well, damn. It's because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, and I mean, I'm sure a lot of people out there know, you know, probably could take the money that they that they uh, put into Social Security, right, and come out ahead, but, you know, I'm not one of them, and I think the majority of fucking Americans are probably not in that group either, you know, and it's like, anyway, I mean, the thing is, you know, libertarians, they, they, they reject the social contract because they don't like this idea that there are areas in one's life where one, the best decision is to uh, cede authority to somebody else. Okay, there are. I mean, maybe not a lot of decisions, but there are decisions that that you should basically not make on yourself, n not make on your own merits. All right. And um, you know, things like financial planning, unless you know what you're doing. You know, healthcare, unless you know what you're doing, stuff like that. Right. Um, but I also think that a big chunk of this has to do with the fact that they don't like paying taxes. I mean, it's funny how every time we talk about these people, 
everything they say in one ra- in one way or another kind of comes back to the fact that they want to get out of paying fucking taxes, all right? You know, so which kind of gets to the second part when Shane was talking about uh, leaving the country, you know, because that's another argument that in the comment section people say, if you don't like it, just leave it. And he goes, well, you can't just leave it, right? You know, he's he basically says that it's fucking, um, you know, it's not as easy. It's not as easy as like you know moving to another town or whatever, leaving a country, right? But the thing is, is that you can leave the United States, or at least in the United States you can leave. Okay, maybe some countries out there you can't, North Korea or something, right? In the United States, you can leave anytime you want. All right, if you don't like the country you live in, there is, you know, there is a process by which you can give up your citizenship and you can immigrate to a different country. Okay, and don't give me this bullshit. You know, don't say it's impossible because you have to pay some fees. All right, it's like the fuck out of here. I mean, the fee. If say you wanted to immigrate to the European Union. Right, which I don't know why somebody like Shane would want to, because they're even more socialist over there. But whatever, you know. But say you want to do it, it's it's like 250 euros, which is like that's fucking nothing. All right, I mean, the point is, it's not going to cost you thousands of dollars to fucking to leave. You know, it might well maybe to ship all your junk and stuff like that. But just the just the going through the process is not going to cost that much fucking money, and you know. But you might have to pay some taxes, all right? Now, it, nobody said that it had to be, you know, easy, because he's like, oh, it's not as easy as moving to another street. Well, nobody said it had to be easy, all right? Nobody said that it had to be cheap or it had to be free, right? But it is possible, okay? Because fucking thousands of people do it every single fucking year. People leave the United States as much as they come in, you know? That's something else that people don't understand. There's millions of Americans that live overseas, that live in other countries and shit, you know, and there's millions of people that come to the United States, and there's millions of people that leave the United States and give up their citizenship every year. It's not like this is some kind of fucking big impossible quest that you got to spend 20 years doing and blow your life savings, you know. It's bullshit. And exit tax, you know, that's also, he also talks about the exit tax, like, get the fuck out of here, okay? The exit tax is like nothing. It's, it's meant to penalize rich people who leave the country, you know, who try to leave the United States because they want to get out of paying taxes, all right? And it's just, it's bullshit. I mean, there's a, I'll put a link below where you can look at the exit taxes. Basically, if you're not a fucking millionaire, you're not paying the fucking exit tax, all right? All it really is is just, all the exit tax means is that if you owe, if you owe the government money, then you can't leave until you pay the fucking money. And you know what? Good. Because fuck those people. Okay? I mean, that actually happened this last tax time. There was a thing I saw in the news where a bunch of rich people were trying to leave the country without paying taxes. And, you know, that's like... And they got gigged and it was a big fucking deal. It's like, you know, fuck them. If they want to leave, then fuck them. Let them leave. And the thing is, is they're not going to find any other place in the fucking world where they don't have to pay taxes. I mean, maybe fucking Somalia or something. You know? I mean, I don't see how this is a bad fucking thing. All right. If you live in a place, right, you have to, and you you benefit from the protections and and you know the things that 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 country provides for you, even indirectly. Okay, then you should have to pay fucking taxes for them. And if you try to leave without paying, you should have to pay before you leave. I don't see what the fuck the problem is with that, right? And you know, and he and he compares it. The guy Shane compares it to a slave having to buy his freedom. I mean, that just doesn't make any fucking sense whatsoever. All right, are you just a slave can't even just leave? I don't know. Paying taxes is not thievery, okay? Paying an exit tax is not a slave buying his fucking freedom, all right? If you were a slave, you wouldn't be able to be able to fucking leave in the first place. I mean, it just, it just doesn't make any fucking sense whatsoever, you know? And I think that's what it, it pretty much why I reject libertarianism as a whole, because it's a bunch of shit that sounds good on the surface, but it doesn't really make a lot of sense when you think about the practical applications of this philosophy, it doesn't make a lot of sense. You have to go, like, way out of your way to do shit that, to accomplish things that would just be fucking, you know, a lot easier to do with just taxing people. You know what I mean? Like, there there are areas in your life where you have to, where you have to see to authority. You know, there should be authority out there. There should be cops, okay? There should be laws against certain things and laws for certain things, right? And what makes you free is that you have a voice in how these laws are drafted, okay? 
And it's kind of, you know, the United States is pretty much the best you're going to do. There are countries out there that have more liberal laws in regards to things like, you know, um, drug use and stuff like that, you know, Northern Europe and that kind of thing, right? But it's not like, you know, it's not like we're living in fucking some oppressive, like, you know, Nazi Germany kind of thing. It's like, yeah, okay, so, so you have airports fucking scanners and you have cops that, like, fucking, you know, you're not allowed to smoke weed and shit like that and there's a lot of shootings and, you know, there's lots of problems in this country, right? You know, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to, you know, make them any less or to belittle them. But it's a long fucking way from, you know, I'm a slave because I gotta pay taxes. I mean, it's just, the shit makes no sense whatsoever and it, it's just childish is what it really comes down to. It's the kind of shit that a, a child would say, you know, and it's really a bunch of bullshit that somebody made up to get out of paying taxes. This is what it really comes down to. I mean, libertarianism is just basically it. I don't want to pay taxes and here's a bunch of stupid rationales as to why I don't, you know, how I'm going to not do it. So, I don't know. I think I'm out of here, folks. Adios.